Ah, just finished enchanting 20 amazing diamond swords in a row. Oh, hello there, Ray here, and I'm joined by Earth Computer, and in this video I will be explaining how you can hack the enchanting table code, and get the exact enchantments that you want, and avoid the ones that you don't. And the best part about this is that this can all be done in 100% vanilla survival Minecraft world, without using any mods, cheats, or even hack clients. And using this knowledge, you can easily get a maxed out sword, so if I just put the sword in here, you see I only get sharpness 3. But if I take this sword out, and I come over here, and I drop out all these items off to the side, and I come along and I drop out these items up a little bit faster. Then I go ahead and put this sword in and enchant it. Then I go ahead and put this sword in and enchant it. What do you think I'm going to get from this sword? Well, yeah, a lot of good stuff. Now, it gets a little bit even crazier than that. I can go ahead and I can start dropping these items off to the side. And once I drop them all off, I'll throw this sword in and enchant it. Then I'll go ahead and throw this sword in. What do you think I'm going to get for this one? Oh yeah, some more good stuff. So let's take these two swords and let's put them into our anvil over here. And you can see I just gave myself the best sword in Minecraft that easily. In order to do this, you want to avoid anything random to do with the player. So you can't gain any XP while mending is equipped. You can't kill anything using unbreaking, sharpness, smite, or pain of arthropods. You can't drop any items. You can't create particles by sprinting. Or by eating. You can't repair or rename any items. You can't break gear or you can't use unbreaking gear either. You can't enchant anything unless obviously the method says so. Um, you can't die so be careful. You can't change dimensions and you can't log out. So the way that this works is that there is enough information displayed inside of the enchanting table that we can start to guess at what type of seed that the enchanting table is using. Now there is 4.3 billion different seeds that the enchanting table can use when choosing what enchantments you have. But by changing the amount of books we have around the enchanting table, we can see that we can get different numbers displayed on the side. By putting enough of these numbers into an algorithm, we can figure out what type of seed the enchanting table is using currently. Therefore, we can predict what type of enchantments we can get in the future. I'll quickly go over the process needed to do this in survival. Now first off you want to enchant one item. This will remove all randomness that has occurred in your world previously. Then you can go ahead and start inputting this information on the side into a program. You can find the program down in the description. Now once the program has enough information to crack the XP seed, we'll go ahead and reset the setup and we will also enchant another sword and we will repeat the process. In this case, we can get the next XP seed. Once we know the second XP seed, we can combine this with the first one and get the player seed. Now that we know the player seed, we know exactly what enchantments will come up in the enchanting table next. And we can influence this by doing randomness such as dropping items off to the side of our screen so much that we can choose exactly what type of enchantment we will get in our sword when we do enchant it. Big thanks to Earth Computer who figured this all out and wrote a program that helps us out. You can check out his in-depth explanation as well as tutorial in his video which is linked down in the description. Hacking the chanting table code in survival. So if you found this interesting, share this with everyone you know and show us with a like. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe. And if you have any questions, ask us in the comments. And don't forget about April Fools and Easter. Bye-bye.